Day 1, June 24th, 13, 9.23 at point M. Today is my birthday and my parents threw a small party with only us three. The nice, humid summer air really made my birthday that more thankful, given the circumstances. The first couple presents were a bunch of cheap looking games and clothes, but I understand it, since my parents are pretty money tight these days. My dad lost his job recently, since the bank can't afford much more accountants. He found a job at a local Walmart for the littlest bit of income to allow us to keep power house and put food in the table. I finally made it through the small stack of gifts to have the last yellow star wrapped gift left out alone. The last present stood out from the others, as it appeared to be some sort of video game. I wore a surprised face, as I slipped the top of the wrapping paper to reveal Paper Mario, the thousand year door. I remember watching my cousin play this, when I visited a few weeks back and it looked like my kind of game, my parents must have kept a mental note when I mentioned it to them. I sincerely thanked my mom and dad and asked where they found something like this. There happened to be a copy at work and since we don't sell GameCube games anymore, my boss just gave it to anyone who wanted it. My dad replied. I also asked the condition of the game to which he said. It was returned repeatedly so the condition is almost perfect. I stopped my bombardment of questions and hurried to the Gamma Cube to try out my new game. I read the player's manual to see the controls, but I found the phrase, don't read the diary written repeatedly in the manual. Since the game has been returned many times, I figure someone's just trying to scare me. Point. I started the game up and found that it took 66 blocks of memory, Oh, I remember the game takes only 30. I didn't know for sure so I didn't pay too much attention to it, since I have a memory card with lots of blocks anyway. When I began the game, I couldn't stop playing. I completed the first five chapters in one day. I've always been a fan of strategic games, especially RPGs, so it didn't surprise me that I played it so much. My mom told me to go to bed after just completing the fifth chapter, since it did happen to be midnight. I slept restlessly, unable to wait for what the game had in store for me. The start, day 2, June 25th, 13, 6 at point M. I woke up early knowing how much I wanted to play Paper Mario. I ran right in front of the DV, turned in my Gamma Cube and started playing. The title sequence played, but louder than usual, with a distorted voice saying something inaudible. I turned off the game and kept resonating to try to find out what the strange voice said. I checked the disc for scratches and found an inscription reading, don't read the diary in shaky barbaric letters. This time I really freaked out and felt confused. I thought to myself it was returned a lot so maybe it got scratched up, but then remembered my dad stated it was in near perfect condition. I turned off the game and made myself breakfast, replaying what just happened over and over in my mind. It bothered me too much, so I had to keep playing to try to find out why this had happened. 9.35 a point M, I reached the back of the cart to find his diary. Instead of the diary in the floor behind some boxes, it stood in a dark outline pedestal marked 66. I grabbed the diary and held my breath. You got the diary a word bubble said. The game paused for a second and automatically went to my items and clicked on the diary. Another word bubble appeared saying, would you like to read the diary? Is greater than yes no I kept tapping it to click no, but it kept repeating the question. The more I pressed A, the more the letters looked morbid, they turned red and grew hostily. I continued pressing no, but the letters soon needed so much space, it covered the entire screen and started throbbing with blood dripping down the yes option. I screamed quietly, careful not wake my parents and unplug the console from the outlet. The screen was black ellipsis points. I took multiple slow, deep breaths and looked at the DV, watching it bring back the textures from the recent event, when I previously reached that point, 
except it didn't display morbid letters and the no option has been replaced with another yes. I made a terrible mistake and chose yes. I didn't look at what was written but I could hear Mario making the same distorted voice from the title screen. Then the ghost appeared in front of Mario and said you read my diary and attacked Mario. But then the system turned itself off and opened the disk slot. I looked inside to find the disk's front read you read my diary over the title. I was in shock and couldn't react. I resumed the day without muttering a single word, just staring at the disk, until I somehow fell asleep. 11.21 p.m. That night I had a dream, where I was playing Paper Mario at my cousin's house and seeing all the same events happening, although he didn't notice anything wrong. He selected yes to reading the diary and turned back to me, with a half smile saying, you read my diary. Day 3, June 26, 13. 3.33 at point M, I woke up to see a black figure run outside of my room. Instead of fear, I filled myself with anger. I couldn't take this anymore. Get back here. I shouted, as I ran out of my room in search of it. It went downstairs to the TV room. I bolted after it. I saw it over my gamma cube, a half decapitated ghost hanging above the system. My ellipsis points, why are you here? I asked quietly. You read my diary. It said faintly. I didn't read what it said. I looked away, I replied. You listened to him ellipsis points. The ghost spoke louder. I didn't even understand what he said, I answered back. The ghost then spoke the same words Mario did but less distorted. You were next. I blacked out, unable to open my eyes, I was lost.